Hey everybody, uh, this is Mellow Yellow 8787, and we're starting a new Let's Play series. And I'm going to leave you hanging on it since it's a Super Mario All Stars and Super Mario World cartridge. That was an awful way to say the word world. Wild. What is it going to be? What's it going to be? Super Mario Brothers 3! I think maybe. Yeah, guys, we're going to play Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, we're going to make this an 8 video let's play. Um, just do one video per land. Start things out with Grassland. We're going to watch this whole entire opening here. I love it. This is such a fun game to play. And this this, this game, I mean, there's so many memories for this game. And I don't even know where to begin. I mean, um, the, the, <laughs> the first thing with this game is that... Uh, uh, I'm, what I'm going to do for the main uh, let's play anyway is I'm going to try and go for 100% um, levels. I'm not going to get all of the mushroom houses or all the spade blocks, all of the end spades. I'm going to do those at first, but um, I think later on, once I'm getting higher up in lives and running out of inventory space, I'm going to stop doing those. Whoops. I didn't mean for the mushroom to go that way. That's stupid. But, uh,. I'm going to go for 100% completion on levels and 99 lives, and I want to have over a million points by the time the game is done. Um, so you'll notice, like, I'll check my inventory and see how my thing list is building up, and I might just, like, randomly dump items um, just to to make space, basically. And I, I don't know, it's like the, the spade blocks are good for lives, the mushroom houses are good, but... Um, I'm not going to do every single one, because uh, even though I, some people might not consider that full 100%, I I care what you think, but at the same time, too, I, I don't care, because um, w w what it is, it, it's what I, what I feel like I want to do, and I I personally don't consider it 100% if I don't do every little thing, even get, like, the whistles, but I'm not going to get the whistles, I'm just going to do the levels. And I didn't talk about... the first level at all, but that's okay, that's pretty standard, I think everybody knows that level. Um, one thing with this, this, I think this was like the um, second, maybe the third game we ever bought for our, any, or our NES when I was little. Um, mind you, you know, I'm only 25 years old, so I, I mean, I was playing NES games when I was uh, five, six, you know, um, but this game... <laughs> We took a visit to see my grandparents, and um, we had the NES. Uh, we brought the NES with us with a couple of games. Um, I, I don't exactly remember which games, but I remember this game was one of them. Um, you know, we locked it up in the suitcase and um, put a actual little, those little itty tiny bitty suitcase locks, the ones that are uh, cheapo, they, they almost feel like they're plastic locks, but yeah. That's what we put on there, and when we get to Salt Lake City, because we were living in Louisiana at the time, when we get to Salt Lake City, um, <laughs> the the suitcase, the lock was broken, the NES was still there, all the other games were still there, except for Super Mario Bros. 3. It was the only one out of the whole entire bunch that was missing. I mean, it's like... If they were stealing it to sell it, I mean, I don't know if the, the person who stole it wanted to play it or, or what, but if they were stealing to sell, why didn't they take everything? They were stealing just to be able to play this game, which I think is, as I look back at it, is hilarious. But at the time, I mean, you imagine how mad my parents were. I was crying because I was like five or six, and I'm not ashamed to say that I cried when I found out it was stolen. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's... I think it's hilarious now, looking back at it, like, what the hell, what would somebody do with just the game, I mean, that's only I think of is that they didn't have it, and they wanted it, they had every other game that we had in there, um, I, I, okay, I do remember some of them, one of them was The Adventures of Lolo, and I, I really, really, really want to do an LP of that, um, because that, uh, is a really fun, uh, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought there, um, The Adventures of Lolo, all three of those games are excellent puzzle games. I mean, I have a lot of fun playing those games and a lot of memories, spending countless hours with my my mom mainly, who 
who played the game with me. There we go. Five lives. Hooray! Um played the game with me a lot, and we got stuck on so many levels, and mind you, this is before the internet, so we, <laughs> what we would do is we would like, okay, we'd start the level, we'd sit and stare at it, and then we'd diagram it on a piece of paper, it was a lot of fun, so that's one I look forward to doing in the future, is all three of the Adventures of Lolo games, because I think that they're a blast. Um, so super, I mean, this, when it comes to this game, um, I consider myself to be really, really good at the game. Um, there's some people who just cannot play a platformer, and there's some people who can. Um, I feel like I'm better at platforming games than I am at other types of games. Uh, anybody you talk to can attest to the fact that I'm I'm not good at like games that are like uh, Call of Duty, but I'm I'm decent, but. Nothing in comparison to some of the people I know that are uh, just ridiculously skilled at first-person shooters. Um, platforming, though, is where where I like to go when when it comes down to it. I mean, uh, there's lots of games that people I don't think would. Cons oh, and RPGs too. I love RPGs. Final Fantasy games. I plan on doing a couple of those LPs. Um, I want to do Final Fantasy one because I know it's it's been done time and time and time again on on Let's Play channels, um, uh, I can't think of any right off the top of my head that I had that have it, but, uh, I know that Nintendo Capri Sun has done a bunch of Final Fantasy games, uh, H.C. Bailey uh, only really does RPGs and JRPGs for his Let's Plays. Let's see if I can get this, I gotta concentrate, hang on one second. Star, come on, come on, come on, star, okay, and star, yes, and star. Come on. Yes! Oh, thank you. That's five easy lives for me right there. I'm already at 19 lives. Oh, we had a 99 before not too long. Um, but yeah, I mean, so I know that they've been done, but I mean, I, those are some of the games that are some of my favorites to do. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, well. I guess I'm not going for the whistle anyway, so this will be somewhat helpful, actually. Um, but platforming is where, I mean, I like the Donkey Kong Country games, um, I like, um, <laughs> Metroid, uh, I'm not a fan of Mega Man anymore, I might give that one a break after my Mega Man challenge videos, god, I wanted to, to shoot the developers of Mega Man. Um, but, Mario really is one of the best and probably the most the people game people think of when they think of a platforming game. Um, I I don't want to... I'm, I'm torn. Like, with me playing this on the All-Star cartridge, I, what I want to do is I want to do all um, five games that are on the All-Star cartridge. So Mario, Mario 2, Lost Levels, um, Super Mario Bros. 2, doing Super Mario Bros. 3 right now, and uh, Super Mario World. Is that... is that five? Super Mario, Mario Brothers 2, uh, Mario Brothers 3, Lost Levels, Super Mario... Okay, yeah, so, <laughs> sorry, I had to double check. That's, um, five. And, whoa, whoa, careful, okay. Um, that's what I want to do, though. I want to do, um, all five of the games on this, but I don't want to do them consecutively, so I'm not, like, when I finish this one, I'm not going to jump right into a different one, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Hammer Brothers time. Oh, no, never no, mind. No, no. I'm gonna go and do the end here. Now, I used to have these memorized, so let's see how good I am at this. Let's see. Okay. I did. I used to have all these memorized. Let's see if I can get through this in one go. Okay, mushrooms. Mushroom again. So, okay, anyway. Um, I think I'm pretty sure I can get this, so I'm going to just keep talking about platforming and, and memories and whatnot. Um, basically, what this game is, um, we used to have um, races with uh, my family members on my dad's side who would play video games. Now, and on, my, on my mom's side of the family, there really wasn't a lot of video game playing, and um, 
no particular reason why. I mean, I just think that the, my cousins on my mom's side just never really were into video games. But I have quite a few cousins on my dad's side that are into video games, and let me tell you, we would race this game like crazy. So, basically, we would just race this World 1 over and over and over again. Like, so what first person would do it, and we'd time them how fast it took, time them again, time them again, and we didn't have any spe specifications, so we didn't say, oh, you had to get the Mushroom Houses, you know, you had to get the, um, the spades, you had to fight the, um, the Hammer Brothers. If they went away and you could avoid them, which is really rare, I don't, I mean, I don't even know if it can happen, but there were certain things that we never, so it was, excuse me, it was just an all-out, um, run of the game and it, it was so much fun and uh i never won those actually i have a cousin who is about uh he's he's about seven years older than i am maybe i'm not 100 percent sure but uh he he was really really good at this game and um it's it's amazing to go back and sorry didn't clear my throat it's amazing to go back and and, you know, talk to him about this and relive some of the things we used to do with this game. Um, wow, I've already got one full inventory slot filled up. That's... Oh, I guess I did do the, the end spade. Um, look at that, it's a snake! It's a snake! Yeah, this one is, since it's on the um, All-Stars, uh, these guys are going to be a lot different. Oh, it's terrible, the king has been transformed. Please help find the magic wand and bring him back. I think I'm only going to read that once. It gets really annoying. Okay. Now... This... Uh, I never understood the airships. Like... Okay, I don't think this one has any breaks in the segments. I think that's all one piece, but... The ones that aren't one piece... They don't have propellers... All over the... Like, see, this one's got propellers. You know, it's an airship. A lot like you'd see in Final Fantasy, it's a full-on airship. But, there's other ones later on that are broken up into segments, and they, like, there's, like, gaps. I usually don't see another, um, I, I usually don't see another propeller. There's the Koopa Kids, I, I think this is Iggy. Iggy Koopa, and he's fairly easy, just avoid his blaster thing. It's funny, all these magical rods do the exact same thing, except for Wendy's and, like, Lenny's, I think. It's Lenny's, the one with the balls. But, uh, Wendy's and, and they, the other one, Lenny's, shoot those and create bouncy balls and rings. So, I don't know. Oh, thank heavens, I'm back from my old self again. Thank you so much. Here's a letter from the princess. How does she send these out if she's captured by Bowser? Like, what is she doing? It doesn't really matter. Just something I've always wondered. Okay, guys, thank you so much again for watching. That was Grassland on our Let's Play of Super Mario Bros. 3. This is Mellow Yellow 8077, and have a great day.